video we're going to go over software and software licenses. Software is all of the apps and programs that run your computer system. So this could be things like Microsoft Word, Google Chrome, Instagram, anything that you can click on and use on the computer is software. A license is a legal document that allows someone to use the software once they have agreed to the terms and conditions. There are two types of software that you need to know about for your exam. The first one is open source software. With open source software, you can see and edit the source code. This means you can download the program, usually for free, and you can make any changes to it as long as you know how to program. Now, what this doesn't mean is that it will automatically update everyone else's version of the program because you have to upload your version and get others to download it first. The advantages of using open source software are that it's usually free. It's usually made by programming enthusiasts. That's people who enjoy programming because maybe they don't agree with companies charging you a lot of money to use programs. If you know how to program, then the software can be changed to suit your own needs. Because anyone can change the code, there are a lot of different people who could potentially be working on it. Now, what this means is that all these different people might be from different areas, from different locations, and they might have really different and creative ideas. If you're working for a company, then the person in charge of the project is gonna to get to say what the program has to have in it and how it's going to have to be done. So open source software has got a lot more freedom for people to have their own ideas and actually put them in the program itself. The disadvantages of using open source though is that because these programmers are doing it for free, usually in their spare time, there might not be as many updates. There might be bugs in the program that are slow to be fixed and there might not be any help or tutorials made because if you're going to spend all of your time writing code to develop a program, you might not then be too bothered about using even more time to write a user guide. If a company decides to use open source software for their programs, this will save them loads of money because they're not having to pay a team of people to develop it. The problem with this is though, is it lacks any kind of originality or unique selling feature. Anybody could get access to this program and software and make changes to it. Proprietary software, on the other hand, is closed source. This means you can't see or edit the source code. It's usually a secret kept by the company. They don't want you to be able to see and change the source code because they want you to pay for their program. With proprietary software, usually you get a big list of terms and conditions that you're supposed to read through before you agree to using their software. These terms and conditions cover how you are allowed to use the program and whether or not you're allowed to share it with other people. The advantages of using proprietary software are that it's less likely to have bugs, it's likely to have been thoroughly tested and there are likely to be help guides and tutorials available. This is because the company that have made it want you to buy it. If the program was really buggy, people wouldn't be prepared to pay for it. It's often cheaper for companies to buy this package rather than get someone to make their own custom software. So if you think about the school, it's cheaper for us to use Google Slides and Google Docs or Microsoft Word or Microsoft PowerPoint than it is to get somebody to bake our own version. There's no need for us to do that and it's cheaper and easier for us to learn to use the ones that already exist. The disadvantages of proprietary software though or it can be expensive to buy, the software might not do exactly what the company wants it to do. So the company might want them to do specific things that maybe the software doesn't do, and they've got no way of changing it to adapt it to what they actually need it to do. Another problem is, is that companies will want you to buy the latest versions of their software. They might not update or even work with older versions. One example of this is on my school laptop, I'm using Adobe CS5 software for Photoshop and video editing. This is very, very old and out of date software. Creative Cloud is the new version of Adobe Photoshop and Premiere Pro. My MacBook has recently been updated to the latest operating system. There is a compatibility issue between the latest version of the operating system and these old versions of the Adobe suite. This is because Adobe won't maintain the old versions of their programs because there's no point. They want people to pay for and use the most up-to-date versions. So by not putting these updates out, it encourages people to upgrade. This exam question says, discuss the implications of creating open source software for the restaurant. The quality of written communication will be assessed in your answer to this question. This means you can't get the top mark band, so that's five or six marks, if your spelling, punctuation or grammar is wrong. For this type of question, we need to use the Pepe structure. So point, explain, point, explain. We should always start off with the definition. So open source software is software where you can see and edit the source code, just to show the examiner that you know what you're talking about. We then need to pick a point. 
Now, the implications mean the advantages and disadvantages to the restaurant, though, or the restaurant owner. So we need to pick a point, And because it's a six mark question and it doesn't say that they have to be advantages or disadvantages, we need to make sure that we cover both. So my first point is about the cost. So open source software is obviously free. I've then gone on to explain why is that an advantage to the restaurant owner? That means they don't have to pay someone to develop the software for them. My second point is about the fact the code might contain bugs because it's made by programming enthusiasts. I then go on to explain how this is going to affect the restaurant. The third point I make is about the fact the software will come with the source code. And then I go on to again explain how this is going to impact the restaurant owner. So for each part of your answer, you need to make sure you are making your point. So choosing either an advantage or a disadvantage. And then for the explain part, you must refer it back to the scenario you have been given in the question. And in this case, the question is about a restaurant.